general, Taiwan government is already starting to work on sort of trying to develop this uh, cloud computing industry. So it actually invests money in various research organizations traditionally sponsored by the government, like IIII and E3. And they are focusing on the fundamental cloud computing research, and in particular system software technologies. And also toward that goal, they also develop a consortium called Taiwan Cloud Computing Industry Alliance. So they, the, the goal of that particular alliance is to string together all the sort of players in the entire spectrum of cloud computing industry so that they can talk to the government about the policy, the industrial development policy on cloud computing, as well as how to work together to develop the necessary technology to push the, the entire uh, cloud computing industry forward. Taiwan is, is, known, is well known for its capability of uh, ODM and OEM for most of the ICT hardware, including servers, switches, storage boxes, power uh, equipment, and so on. So, so in the cloud computing industry, we can generally classify into two classes of products. One is the kind of product that's used in the data centers, and the, the other type is the kind of product used at the ages, like the mobile devices kind of thing. Taiwan is strong in both areas. The only difference is that in the device end, we can do it more or less end to end, like the entire device, we can handle it. But in the case of cloud data centers, we are at the stage of individual components, like servers, switch, and, st and storage box. So what we are trying to do is to move up in the full chain. So not only we can we can supply the components for people to build this cloud data center. We want to move upward to build an entire cloud data center system. And that includes the necessary system software required for building such uh, data centers. So we think that this ICT hardware design and manufacturing capability of Taiwan will form a very good basis for Taiwan to, to develop its own uh, cloud computing industry. We, we are very good at uh, all the major components that are required in cloud data centers, like servers, which is storage power, equip, uh, distribution unit, and that kind of thing. So those are exactly the basis that we want to build. Uh, we, we propose to the government that, that Taiwan should build its uh, cloud computing industry on, is to base on this server, switch, and storage companies, and then try to, to move ourselves up in the food chain not just doing individual component, but move us to the system level. And to do that, we need software expertise. And that's the kind of technology that E3 and IIII are trying to develop so that we can move the Taiwan industry, hardware industry to the system, in, so the system products. This is sort of a general weakness for Taiwan in general and for various organizations such as E3 in specifically that that we, we previously in the probably in the last two or three decades we mostly focus on hardware design and that's also what professors in academia you know research and taught and as a result we don't really have that many software talents especially those kind of people that focus on large scale software or system software and we, we, we readily recognize that weakness. But we think that there's still a good shot for us to develop the kind of software expertise and talents in Taiwan. Specifically, if take uh, our center, for example, we hire a bunch of people from overseas, and they are all you know, very good software people, have you know, decades of experience working on this kind of software that we are interested in building. And the, the kind of pe young talents that we recruited in the last couple of months, and after these couple of months of working, we generally believe that we, we, we have a very good basis. You know, they, they may not have the, the exact expertise from the very beginning, but in the end, after a couple of months, we feel very confident that you know, together with the senior talents that we recruit from the overseas, as well as these very good young talents that we recruit locally, that we can build a very good team to build the necessary software expertise that we need for this cloud computing industry. So right now, uh, our center in, at E3 have two major projects ongoing. One is called Container Computer 1.0, and the other is called Cloud OS 1.0. So in the Cloud Container Computer 1.0 project, we have two major server manufacturers. 
as, a, as a, our partners. They work together on that project. And the way it works right now is that we will focus on the so-called system architecture definition and the uh, large-scale system management software. Each we will focus on these two aspects. And the industrial collaborators or partners, they will focus on the actual hardware design and manufacturing because that's exactly what they are good at, right? And together, we think we should be able to deliver uh, uh, initial container computer 1.0 pro prototype at the end of the year. And for the Cloud OS 1.0 project, we also have another sort of server manufacturer that work with us. And we also will try to deliver most of the features that, that are sort of available in the commercial offerings. And also the target uh, day is also the end of the year. Generally, I mean, almost all the industrial partners that we work with, they always target at the China market. Right, so, so right now, especially, like I say, that our center specifically focus on cloud data center system. This is the strong sort of, they are very good strong offerings from Northern American companies like Cisco, IBM. So Northern American uh, or European market, we, we don't have them that good a shot. But for emerging market like, you know, this China, India, Russia, you know, South America, I think we have a very good shot, in particular with the China market. And right now, the way we observe is that in the China market, there are already brand companies out there. They are trying to you know, sort of look at this particular market, like the cloud data center system market. And we think that the, the kind of the system that we build or built by uh, Taiwanese uh, ICT hardware company could form a very good building block. And they can still you know, continue with the traditional OEM, ODM model for Chinese brand companies. So that's one way that I see as a potential collaboration between Taiwan and China. And the other possibility is that China also has a very good sort of service and application like you know, Baidu, like their search and their e-commerce like Alibaba or their instant messaging like Tenshin. They are all very, very good. So they actually have very strong sort of application and service offerings. And some of these offerings, if they want to you know, enhance the quality of their offering, they have to have special requirements on the underlying cloud data center system. And I think that's also something that we can help them with. So in order to provide certain special application or services, they might need special support. And this is something that we can do for them to customize our cloud data center system specifically for their application and service. And once th this, this kind of application get proven in Chinese market, they may be expanded to other markets as well.